what's up y'all so um welcome back to another video today we're going to a new car meet brand new um just the first time running this but it's called cars and cart whoa cars and coffee in plano and there's going to be about 300 cars there it's a really big meet and that's not even including like the cars that aren't registered um because it's not really checked it's a free ticket it's just to kind of get like a final count but the limo is 300 and there's still more people that are coming so it's gonna be a pretty big meet so it's gonna be lots of fun um and then after that um i got some new stuff for the front um just a little thing for the lights um so we're gonna put those in and then we're gonna try to fix this back bumper let me show y'all real quick i see paint so we'll probably just take some plastic dip um take off the third brake light tape all around the sides and then paint it um just some plastic dip because that's really really what matches up with the spoiler and everything um so we're just gonna throw some plastic dip on there make that back look good again um and then as far as this paint chipping i might just get the car repainted um because honestly as far as what i'm looking at right now it'd probably be cheaper to just paint the whole car rather than just get individual pieces repainted um or individual pieces painted um shipped to me so might just get the whole thing repainted make it look really good again but um i'll update y'all on that i'm not really sure what i'm gonna do yet a few moments later like that in a bit. Just a bunch of those things. Got a drone. Huh? Got a drone. <laughs> That'd be perfect at one of these things. Why do you need 
So I would have my car in the garage, but my family is currently in the process of moving. So we got all our junk in here, ready to be thrown away or organized for the new house. So that's why my car is not gonna be up in the garage today. We got some new um, low beam ones, no low beam for the headlights, or we have these, which are like wireless ones that change colors. Um, I was thinking if they don't work, I could just throw them on blue or white and it would look the same as my headlights um, or look the same as these. I'm not 100% sure if these are gonna fit perfectly, but I wanted to see if these, these definitely work. I just, I don't know how I feel about them, but I'm hoping these will work with us. So we're gonna try both of them. In my past videos, you know that I changed these to a nice cool blue. And now I'm in the process of getting new fog lights because these, these are white, but they're also like yellowish. So I might just get a headlight set um, where it doesn't have it here, but there's a fog light right here. Um, because they do make those they're really cool a lot of people get them and i might get those for this and then what we're going to be replacing is that little bulb in there um here let me let me turn that one on too i don't know why it's not on it's not on the low beam there we go oh no there we go i disconnected it earlier i forgot about that but yeah we're going to replace be replacing that little bulb in there today All right, I don't really like how those look, so I'm gonna run to the store. I'm gonna take the stock bulb um, with me and just find the correct bulb, find a good LED one, and then put those in, because um, I don't really like the look of these ones. Um, they're just not what I like. So we're gonna go find some actual bulbs um, and take the stock one with us, just so that we can make sure we're getting the right one. All right, I just got out of Walfart and I really just need the same ones, um, just a smaller size. I got too big of a size. So I believe we have the right ones now. Um, I got cool white. So that's pretty much what mine, my front ones are, or my high beams. Um, they're more of a blue, whitish, but there is either like dark blue or cool white. So I just went with the cool white. So this should work pretty well. So we're gonna go in and get home and put these in. same color as um my regular headlights but very similar um definitely more similar than the blue ones would have been so so i'm gonna take put that one back in take out the other one put the new one in um and then we're done um finally um five minute thing turned into 30 minutes so fun times Right, well, here's our final product um next thing is the fog lights but the fog lights are the little um the, the brights down there they're not really fog lights yet but those and that match up really nice and then the headlights are kind of different but i'm not I'm, it doesn't matter like down the road it'll look the same so i'm really happy with it um i just really hate the yellow yellow headlights just all that needs to go away so i'm definitely gonna invest in some um, nice LEDs for down here also um, just to match up with these two things so it's gonna look really good once this is done and the front end will look even better it was a bitch to get out because the battery there if you don't know um, whenever we put in these bad boys there's a whole battery to them kind of stupid but um, there's a whole battery so I had to get that out um, it's it's in there now I don't think it's gonna come out again so but I guess we never know um, that battery is really in there though this kept getting in the way i mean my colon over here kept getting in the way all this got in the way so it was just and then and then once i got everything out the way it's still want to come out so <clears throat> this one was really fun that one's really easy but this one was a absolute asshole to me but we got it done and i'm really happy with how it turned out so i'll show you all in a couple hours um once it's dark outside just to see what it really looks like because you can't really tell right now you just kind of see the little light from the bulb don't really see what it actually does so i'll show you in a couple hours what it looks like um and yeah
All right, well, it's night now. I decided to show you all final fodder product. You can even see like how much brighter they are just from the lines from the camera. But yeah, they're, they're a lot brighter and here they are with the other bulbs. Um, they really tie in nicely with the bulbs. So, um, yeah, no, it's, it's almost pretty much the exact same color. So I'm really happy with that and hell of a lot brighter, so. All right, what's up guys? So as far as um, painting the rear bumper, it's not gonna happen in this video, probably not. But I do have what I want um, to spray it with, just a plastic um, primer, and it's like a matte black, so it's gonna work perfectly. But to end off today's video, I was thinking, something I've always wanted to do is um, clean up the engine bay like really good. So I got some Probable Power um, degreaser. So I'm gonna wipe that down and then spray it off. And then after that, we have some um, metal metal polisher because there's a lot of metal in my engine bay. So I was thinking I could just polish it down with this after it's nice and um, cleaned up. So we're going to do that real quick. Now I am um, thinking about getting like a whole lot of parts for my engine bay. Um, just like covers for my alternator, cover for my engine, painted and everything. But I don't want it covering like ugliness. I want the engine bay still to look clean. Um, so that's why I'm doing this, but I am going to cover it up with some nice, um, engine bay covers, make it look really cool. So, I don't know. I do want to give the engine some time before I start spraying stuff on it, but I'm going to get a cloth and just wipe down everything um, just to give it a nice little beginning to getting cleaned. Not looking too much better, but um, it's really just because of how disgusting that engine looks. But I wiped down everything. It's looking a little bit better, but um, it's starting to cool down quite a bit. So I'll probably start pretty soon. All right, the engine is still a little bit hot, but I think it's about ready to go. So first, I'm just going to spray it down and then take the gre degreaser, spray it all over the engine, like all over it, and then sp spray it off and then probably wipe it down again with a uh, cloth. And then we're done. I ran through that process a couple more times um, and it's looking a lot cleaner than um, it was before. But I'm going to leave it here to dry for a couple hours and then I'm going to get that metal polish and do all that. And then I'm going to get some black, uh, back to black um, plastic trim restorer and do all that for the plastic trim just to make that look nice and clean again. And then it should be looking pretty good after that. All right, well, it's been about an hour and I went through it a couple times and it's pretty much as clean as it's going to get. Um, I'm going to get covers just to make this entire engine bay look pretty because um, even as clean as it gets it still looks kind of ugly because of just all that um, but I'm going to go through it wipe it all down and then get the metal polish and cool air intake probably all the metal around here I'll polish down and then anything down there I'll, I'll get to it um, and then I'll take it back to black and clean up the plastic trim make it nice and uh fresh again and then that that's pretty much as good as it's gonna get for now we are pretty much down here what I did is um took the back and black and just rubbed it in there and then I got like a multi-surface cleaner and just rubbed it in there just to, or spread it on there just to get a little bit of wet and then wiped it off with a dry towel. And I did this over here, that, and then all up here, which is looking pretty good. I'm gonna probably wipe it down one more time just to get it really good, but it looks pretty good. So I'm happy with it. The engine bay is not as good as I want it to look. And that's mainly just because of um, how ugly the engine and the exhaust manifold over here is. A, is looking um but i am gonna get covers make those look good and um yeah 
But that's that's not a worry right now. I'm really happy with how it looks though. So all right, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, next video, I will be um, repainting the back bumper, um, just a little part, um, with a flat black. Um, it's gonna tape everything up and get that done because that that really annoys me. That's like really makes the um, rear end look ugly. Um, so we're gonna get that done, and that's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Peace.